comments. So how is everyone doing this evening? What is happening for everyone? For you, this week, this time, this month? So this evening's meditation is uh, transforming darkness into light, transforming our own darkness into light, transforming our shadow places into night. So um, some may ask, what is darkness? What is our darkness? Well, um, yes, we can say a lot of things about that, but really uh, I will be focusing in a little bit on our shadow self, on the places within or the places in our life that we're trying to deny, that we're denying consciously, that we're denying unconsciously. And we wanna sort of see what's really happening and how we can turn the light into these places. So uh, I'd like to hear from everyone. If it's your first time, this is a guided channeled meditation. It's an energy healing meditation as well. So and always be a really nice idea if you can pop in the comments what is it that you would like to receive this evening what is your intention for being here and um, you can just say a word or two and i'll start to see them pop in in the comments it always helps to connect into your energy when i get a word or two of what's happening for you positivity abundance okay so I'm going to, we'll, we'll jump right in, um, get yourself positive mindset, love, abundance, and hope. Mm -hmm. A lot of abundance this evening. Interesting that there's abundance. It's been a little bit in the energy field. Transformation, change energy, looking for more positivity, peace. So positivity and abundance. I'm seeing a few of those. Yes, another abundance, stability, abundance, and love. I too have been tapping into, leading up to this meditation, been tapping into the energy of abundance. Let go, find peace, protection. Okay. So keep those intentions rolling in. As we start to get into the meditation, I will ask you to please um, find yourself in a comfortable position. I will be putting some music on hoping that this will be okay. So I'm going to see, and I just wanna check in with you before you get comfortable. Is the sound okay? Every week it's always different, too high, too low, scratching, echo. So if I leave the sound this way, is the sound okay for you? Okay, so I see Facebook is also happening right now. Okay, so can anyone give me a thumbs up or an okay okay i got one thumbs up that the sound is okay so you can hear my sound my voice and the music correct okay good great thank you everyone and i'm just going to do one second little small second here okay so if everyone can get comfortable, whether you want to lie down or find yourself in a seated position, just allow your body to loosen up. We're gonna do a few deep breaths here to get into our body. And I'm going to just tune into the different energy. So Instagram people, Facebook people, Zoom people. Get yourself some pillows. Really make sure that your body is comfortable, your physical body is comfortable. And we will begin by taking in a few deep breaths. Music volume is low, barely hear the music. A bit louder, please. Okay, thank you guys. I hope that is better. Not sure. You'll let me know. Okay. So yeah, if people can just let me know about the music and we'll start by taking a few deep breaths in. So breathing in slowly from the nose, filling your lungs to about three quarters of capacity. And then gently exhaling from your mouth fully and 
completely. Really taking this time to exaggerate that exhale. And as you exhale, really start to feel your body loosening up. If there are any pains in the body or areas of discomfort in the physical body, you can breathe deeply into those areas. So for some that may be between the shoulder blades, totally exhaling fully and completely and we're going to do one more there's a little bit of tension still i'm feeling a little bit of scattered energies okay and one more and I'd like you now to focus on the exhale, focus on your breath exiting your mouth. Feeling the breath coming from the throat, so being expelled by the throat, not necessarily the lips. And allow your breath to carry you and take you in. Connect into the sound of your exhale. Go in through the breath, connect into your body, through your breath, through the sound, through the sensation of your breath. And feel this exhale go all the way through your body, all the way through your legs, as if your feet, right down to your feet, as if your feet are exhaling as well. Bringing all your attention and focus into your physical body. So we're really continuing the breath, the inhale and exhale, but very, very slow and at your own pace. And every inhale, exhale will take you in a little further, a little deeper, a little more. Hear the sound of that exhale with your throat, with your mouth. And feel the sensation of the breath move through you. And as we move into this meditation, I take this moment to call in spirit, spirit light, spirit guidance, your spirit guides, your spirit guides to connect into my spirit guides, the pillars of light, the angelic realm to be present here, the diamond light team for healing, to be present this evening with all of us, through us, with us before us, behind us, to guide and support us in all the areas that we need support right now, clarity, clearing, love, light, guidance. Fall deeper into your body. You may use the breath to do so. 
You may start to wiggle your body a little bit if you're sitting or if you're lying. Just really get into the body. Bringing your attention wherever it is you are wiggling or moving your body, bring your attention to those areas. You can almost get into a little shake. A little wiggle, a little rolling. Mm, it's like settling in, setting into the body. Leaving the external world out there. Leaving all the things, to-do lists, worries, anxieties, doubts, fears, people, situations, work, all of that, relationships, all of that out there. You're sinking into your body. You're moving into your own inner space. And you're letting go of the outer world. Our bodies are always talking to us in every moment, at all times. Pointing to or shining light on areas of discomfort, areas that need attention through the physical. Our physical is only truly deeply a manifestation of what is happening on the emotional levels, the energetic levels. And so that headache or that sore back or those sore knees is only indicative of something else happening on another level, emotionally and energetically. So let's go into the body a little even more deeply, a little more deeply. Now, you may not have any physical pain at all, and that's totally fine, that's okay. But as you get more quiet, and as we go a little deeper in, your body might start to speak to you. And it may speak to you in the form of a sensation, heat, coldness, pinching, throbbing. There may be a little sharp pain that sparks or runs through you. Let's ask our bodies, body, what is it that you have to share with me in this moment? What is it that you would like to say to me, express to me, tell me? I am listening. In this moment, I listen. I want to know what is happening deeply within. What is it that I need to see, to become aware of, to address? I may have avoided, I may have been pushing this to the side, I may have been denying, repressing, choosing to postpone, put it on the back burner. But in this very moment, as I am held in sacred space, and as I feel safe, I'm here listening, body, what is it that you would have me know in this moment? Where do I need to go? And you can repeat those words after me out loud within your own space. And there may be one part of your body that awakens, again, that throbs or pains or hurts. Maybe sharp sensation of heat, of cold. Maybe an internal sensation in the stomach, in the head. Just allow yourself to get quiet and go in, feel 
be, listen, observe. We are so far removed, some of us, most of us, sometimes, from this body, from this abode of ours, the place that has and keeps the keeper of our answers, the keeper of the signals, the signs, the clues to what is really going on within, to what we really need to address. It can be found within the body. And if you feel a specific sensation or a particular pain or even a subtle vibration somewhere in your body dive in deeply as if you were diving in to the dark dark seas as if you were in the middle of the ocean in the middle of the night and you were to dive right into the dark sea go and a dive into that place that is calling out for attention, acknowledgement, care. Dive right in and go through whatever it is that you feel or that you see as you dive in. Now, if you don't feel anything or nothing is sticking out, just bring your attention to somewhere in the body that is being called. So if I say go into an area in your body that is stang standing out right now or sticking out, your first impression, go in there. It might be your chest, your head, your neck. Just dive in. Dive in. Go in, and what is it that you feel, that you see as you dive deeply into the pain or the sensation or the area of your body? You may get other visuals or feelings or sensations go into that. Trust what comes. It's clues, it's signs, it's signals, it's information for you. You may find yourself alone here. You may even find yourself in a dark place. It may be a cave. Maybe at the bottom of the sea, in a cave, or in a closed space. Just be there for a moment in this darkened cave, your own inner cave. And what do you see? What do you feel? Some of you may connect into a smaller version of you. You may find someone in this inner dark end cave. You may find someone 
there greeting you, waiting for you. It may even be a place where you wish to leave, flee. You may even want to end this meditation or disconnect. I invite you to just be there for a moment. Whatever it is that you see or feel in this cave, this inner cave, as you dive deeply into that place or space in your body. It, be, it may be lonely, it may be sad. It may feel heavy. We are going to work with this, whatever it is that's coming up for you this evening. There may be more places, but for this evening, we'll work with this specific piece that may be there. Become the observer of your inner landscape. Become the observer of what is happening within. We want to go in. We want to go beyond the surface, beyond the surface layers of ourself, beyond the everything is okay, beyond the answer we tend to give when someone asks, hey, how are you doing? I'm okay, all good. Everything's okay, everything is good. I'm great. Let's go beyond that. Let's go a little deeper within. What is really happening for you right now? If you ventured more deeply inward, and I am tuning into and getting a sense of loneliness. There's a sense of aloneness for some. There's a sense of sadness for some others. There's also a sense of... Um, Abandonness. I'm picking up on the energy of abandonness, as if that you have abandoned a part of yourself long ago, and that part of yourself is sort of still there waiting for your return. We can choose to deny or avoid many things in our life. We can choose to avoid and deny many things that we are feeling or situations that arise, we can decide to just move on, move forward. I'm only going to think of the future. I don't need to think about any of that anymore. I'm not going to think of it anymore. Those decisions that we make, no more, I'm not going to think of it anymore. I'm just going to think about something else. I'm going to distract myself. How many distractions do we give ourselves? only so that we cannot think of the very thing we need to feel, process, and evolve from. Situations that are coming into your life, that come into our life, only help us to evolve into who we need to be and who, are we, and who we are becoming. That is all situations in our life help us do the very, very hard and harsh situations to the very, very light situations that we encounter in our life. The people that we meet, the feelings that we get when we see someone or something, all of it is like our own personal movie that is in constant play our own personal movie that is on constant play. In this moment, I want you to fast forward this movie that is always on play. 
Imagine yourself pressing the fast forward button. All the people, events, scenarios, situations, scenes that come before you is going really, really fast right now. And I want you to press pause, just pause it all. Where are you when you pause all of what is happening in your outer world? Where are you in any given moment? And not only where are you, but how are you feeling? What is happening for you? There is so much that happens in your life that is a deep reflection of a feeling you have, of a belief you have, of a thought form, of a wound. And if we continuously choose to ignore all of what we are feeling or even whatever comes into our mind as a thought form and we just push through and push on and keep on going where we are missing out you are missing out and i want to say you're missing out on 75 percent of your life 80 percent of your life for even some And now in this moment, press the rewind button. Press the rewind button. Allow yourself to be taken a little backward and see all the people, the places, the situations, the things that have come into your space. And as you do this little process, you might feel or pick up on things that you haven't even noticed. Look at everything in quick form of what has entered into your energy space, what has entered into your life and your space, and pause. And how are you feeling? Where are you when you pause? What is happening? And now allow yourself to come back to the middle point. We fast forwarded, we rewound. Now allow yourself to find that midpoint, that place between the rewind and the fast forward, between the future and the past. Allow yourself to come to this place, the in-between, the moment, the now, the present. And in this moment, in this split second, there may be things that you have come across in that rewind that you also come across in that fast forward. And if you can really observe yourself in that fast forward, in that rewind, how much are you ignoring? How much is distraction? How much did you not even notice? How much are you deciding to avoid? How much are you deciding to, oh, I'll do that at another time, one day? We're doing this a little quickly, but you just want to capture the essence of what is happening for you as you do these processes. Move back, move back, move forward and come into the moment.
stay connected to your body, stay connected in your body. You might feel a sensation in your chest, in your back. You, your body might start to speak a little more loudly. You might feel a shooting pain or a sensation of heat or coldness or any sensation at all. These sensations that you are feeling, these feelings, these are touch points. Points of points of darkness, points of shadow. little points that come and go sometimes completely unconsciously, completely unnoticed. And if we add up all these points, it can get a little dark. We may not even notice how dark. We may not even notice how much of the shadow we carry within at any given time. And so, in this moment, go into that cave. Go back into that cave. Who is it that meets you? What is it that you see? Yeah, and uh, for some, there might be some childhood stuff coming up. I see also for some, there may be a parent there waiting or a smaller version of you, an inner you, an inner child of yours. I see you. In this moment, we're going to acknowledge what it is that we are seeing or feeling or remembering. I see you. I see you, I see you. If it is a little child of yours that you see an inner child of yours, see if you can be with it, just sit beside it, speak to it, to him, to her, hold it. If it is a scenario or situation, how old were you? And just be with whoever that is. And in this moment, there might be other things popping up, other memories, other situations that might be coming up. Just see. Whatever's coming up, just allow yourself to be. This may just be a reminder of what needs to be addressed or processed or fully felt. Sometimes it is not a lengthy process, but just a matter of you fully feeling whatever it needs to be felt so that it can be released.
sometimes healing can happen in an instant, in a moment, such as this particular moment. See the healing, feel the healing, and you can bring in some light into whatever it is that you are feeling right now, that you are seeing or that you are remembering. You can bring the essence of lightness the energy of lightness. You can also bring in the actual light, white light, golden light, as if it were engulfing, surrounding. All of it is what you see right now or feel. If there is a situation that is troubling you, Instead of trying to just let it go and move forward and move on and not think about it, bring it up to the forefront and step into it as if it were happening live in front of you and just be right into it, in the thick of it. Feel what it is you are feeling, the anger, the fear, confusion, And what if you stepped into it with the knowing that whatever it is and wherever you go, you are fully and completely supported by your higher self, by your soul self, perhaps even by spirit, by spiritual energy. Can you step into these places, whether it's a very recent situation or a very, very old memory that's popping up? As if you, someone has your back, you're not in there alone. Someone has your back. Can you step in? Can you step in? What if someone did have your back? What if you were not alone facing whatever this is, current or old? What if there was a wiser you? An enlightened you, a powerful you standing there right behind you? What if there was an all-knowing you that no matter what it is that you did or said, you cannot go wrong or do wrong? Can you walk into this situation right in front of you? So bring whatever it is that you are feeling, again, if it's from past or current or future worry, whatever it is, bring it there in front of you and step into it as you, but with a wiser you, stronger you, enlightened you, connected you, right there behind you, a little larger, a little lighter, so not so physically dense. Perhaps that you also has wings, like an angel, like an angelic energy. Just who stands behind you? You are not alone. You are never alone. And in the greatest light, you are the light. You can do no wrong. Who stands behind you? And if you knew who stood behind you, on this journey, 
that you have chosen in this situation that you are in, you would fear not. There is no fear. How would the situations in the past look if that you, that wiser you, enlightened you, stronger you was there? What about the future? What would be different if that you was right there behind you? You can visualize this you again being greater, lighter, brighter. And wherever you go, you follow the higher you, the lighter you follows. Light can never go dark. You can never forget your own light and the light will never stop being there no matter what is happening in your life, what has occurred and what will occur. This is a spiritual force, a spiritual light, a guiding light that is in and within your soul. You are the light. And as a physical being, sometimes we all forget. Feel the light behind you growing in intensity, getting bigger and brighter. That is you. So take this moment to see what would occur, happen, what would be if you moved in to the situation you are facing, again, past or present, future, with this you, it's all powerful, all knowing, you behind you, physical you. Just observe. You may receive some information, some inspiration, even some answers here. If you know you could never go wrong, if it could never go wrong, if everything was occurring in your highest, best of all times, just imagine that scenario. It is all occurring in your highest, best at all times, even when it doesn't feel so. Allow that wiser you, that more enlightened you, to shine even brighter behind you. See it very large, an exaggerated and larger form of you, a lighter version of you. And as long as this light is there behind you, it cannot go wrong.
and that light goes wherever you go so if you are bringing up something from the past in this moment just see and feel that light shine over it same for the future or present situations And now for a moment, you're going to go into your own inner sanctuary, the place that you can just go to in an instant, in a moment, to find solace, to feel, receive solace. Not only solace, but inspiration. Inspiration does not just come to the few and fair or the creatives. Inspiration comes to each and every one of us in inspiration. We are spirit, and in spirit we shall see, find, seek, understand, and feel. And as that cave was dark, light the cave right now, that own, your own inner cave. Light it, bring the light right into it, See yourself in it and feel spirit work through you. See and feel spirit with you. In every moment, whatever is dark can become light in an instant, in a moment. That is the shift. That is healing. Healing is not some grandiose achievement. Healing happens in each in every moment there is a shift in our mind in our thought or in our feelings that is healing and i am tuning into the energies of this group of all of you from wherever you turning into and i am getting a sense of a shift here where there was once some troubled thoughts or ill feelings or negative emotions, you may have caught a glimpse of yourself in inspiration, in the energy of spirit, of brightness, of light, in the energy of love, in the energy of your potential. When you walk with that light behind you, You connect more deeply into your potential. You connect more deeply into your inspiration. And these are the moments of shift, of change, of transformation, of healing. Whenever you catch that glimpse or feel that essence of spirit working through you, in you, of inspiration. It may just be a sense or a feeling, very intangible, can't put words on it, can't really understand what it is, but you feel it and you know. Whatever is the dark can become the light. Whatever is troubling you can shift and change in any moment. You are spirit, we are spirit. We are spiritual beings. And we are part of this energy matrix together.
And in this very moment, our energy is shifting and changing. And in this very moment, healing is occurring. Catch a glimpse of your highest potential, the self, the you, in your highest being, in your highest form, in your highest potential. Catch a glimpse. Feel it deeply, capture it as if you were taking a photo and bring it into your heart. Allow your own energy to dance around you as if you had just discovered some big secret to the universe. Allow yourself to dance around you. Feel the energy of upliftment, of light, of joy. Of euphoria. It is there for you all. It is there for you in this very moment. And just allow your past self, the self that went through the rewind, and your future self, the self that went through that fast forward, allow those selves, those yous to slowly come into the you in this moment, to slowly integrate and merge into the you of right now, time space does not really exist and all is happening in this moment we have reached back into the past we have reached forward into the future and all the shifts and all the change and all the transformation is happening now just feel it and be with it and let the light descend upon you feel the light above you coming through you around you feel the light descend upon you this bright golden light And when you are aligned with your own inner light, that inspiration is there. Your potential is there. Now, as we come to a close for this evening and as we close this meditation slowly, what is your next step? You know it, you will see a glimpse or feel a sensation or get a word, an answer. There is a next step. 
for you to move closer to that potential that you see, that you felt, that you feel. And it may be simple as smile more, have fun, take it more lightly. Bring laughter, go for a walk. Take a break, take the night off, take a day off. Simple. Simplicity. Inspiration comes in the simplest forms. Answers, shift, change, and healing comes sometimes in the simplest of actions. What is your next step? What is my next step? And just see it flash before you or feel it come through you. And I encourage you and invite you to take action on whatever it is that you received as an answer. Again, even if it is a very small or minute, take a nap, take a break, get a glass of water, whatever. I invite you to take action on the inspiration coming through, on the intuition coming through on your intuition. The more that we bring light into these darkened places within, the more that we feel light, the more that we can hear our own truth, the more that we can listen to what is coming through for us, that guidance, that intuition, that inspiration. And that is what you want to act upon. Your own inspiration, your own guidance, and your own intuition. Follow the light. Follow the light and you will find and you will feel that guidance, that inspiration, and that intuition. And for those of you that want to stay in this energy, you may do so. Opening your eyes only when you feel ready. Coming back into the body, into the moment, only when you feel ready. Taking all the time that you need And I will say good evening to everyone. Thank you so much for joining this evening. And I will be back again next week, next Sunday, every Sunday night for another meditation, different themes, um, but always energy healing. And so I invite you to log in next week. And I wish all of you and everyone a beautiful, light-filled week ahead. Thank you, thank you, thank you.